Hi dear students, today we will do the revision of chapter 1 from section B, the first two war of independence 1857. The same war is known as the revolt of 1857 or the Sepoy mutiny. And in the last exam I asked one question related to the immediate cause of the first world war. Here many students are confused with the the first war of independence 1857 and the first world war both are different you must understand the immediate cause of both the first war of independence and the first world war both are different so whenever you write something you just read the question properly otherwise you may make such a kind of silly mistakes the first war of independence and the first world war both are different and today as I told you we will do the revision of chapter 1 the first war of independence so here in this chapter you have to study mainly the causes of the first war of independence namely the political causes social religious causes economic causes and military causes under the political causes the most important point is policy of doctrine of lapse according to the policy of doctrine of lapse Whenever the ruler dies without a natural heir, then the properties of that particular state will pass to the British government. By using the doctrine of lapse, the British government, they annexed many properties from Indian rulers. And here, under the political causes for the first war of independence, you have to study the policy of doctrine of lapse, annexation of avatar, treatment method out to Nana Sahib, unpopular administration, misutilization of Indian resources and finally disrespect shown to Bahadur Shah. So these six points you have to study for your exams and you must be thorough with all these six points. And then comes the socio-religious causes for the first war of independence. Under this title the things that you have to mainly focus on the activities of Christian missionaries then the introduction of railways and telegraph then introduction of western education fourth one laws interfering with the religion and customs of the indians indians they used to practice many custom the social practices like sadi child marriage and other social evil practices and the british government abolished the practices like sadi system or the child marriage and they promoted widow remarriage but in the indians they did not like such a kind of practice from British government and even they hated the introduction of western education in Indian society because of that many Hindu and Muslim leaders lost their jobs and the introduction of railways and telegraphs and many of the Indians thought that it affects it would affect their caste system and through the activities of the western missionaries many so called Indians believed that it may affect their religion especially Hindus and Muslims. The next point is about the economic causes of the first war of independence. The ruin of trade and handicrafts. In a way the British or the British government they destroyed the trade and handicraft industry in India in order to gain more profit. They just took all the resources to England and they made the product there and then they again exported to India and in a way they made India a market and it finally affected the trade and handicrafts industry in India. The next point under economic causes it is impoverishment of the cultivators because of the establishment of new land revenue settlement or the system many peasants or the farmers they were affected and they were supposed to pay a huge tax and in order to get in order to pay the tax they borrowed money from money lenders and eventually it affected their economy third point ill treatment meted out to the indigo cultivators the indian peasants they were forced to cultivate the indigo instead of their own crops and the next point it is annexation of rent to free lands then growing unemployment, economic exploitation 
and a big famine. So these all are the economic causes for the first war of independence. And the next one, it is the most important point which is connected with the first war of independence. That is the military cause. And in a way, the first war of independence it is known as the Sipoi mutiny because the first war of independence it started with the, the Sipoi's. The reason why it is said that there was a military cause, the first one it is that low salary and poor prospects of promotion. The high salaries were paid to the British people and the promotion also were given to the British uh, soldiers and no Indians, they were promoted and they didn't get proper salary and because of that the Indian soldiers they wanted to make a protest against British government. Then the points like General Service Enlistment Act, forty distribution of troops, larger number of Indian sepoys in the British Army, loss of prestige in Afghan war and finally the immediate cause of the first war of independence. And only these points you are supposed to study from this chapter. So as I told you, you have to study about the first war of independence, mainly the causes, political causes, social religious causes economic causes and military causes and if you are having any doubts regarding this chapter you can just contact me thank you have a nice day